Gods of Thunder, Aranus and Thor, a comparison. Let's take a quick dive into the world of Celtic and Norse deities, namely Celtic god Taranis and Norse god Thor, ultimately what is referred to as the mighty and powerful gods of thunder, Taranis. The elemental and meteorological thunder god within the Celtic pantheon, predominantly worshipped in the ancient tribal lands of Central Europe to Asia Minor, which include Gaul, Iberia, Northern Villanova, Galatia, Anatolia, and Britannia. The worship of Taranis was believed to take place from about 500 BC to roughly 50 C due to the collapse of pagan Celtic cultures due to the invasion by the Roman Empire. Ancient pastoral cultures such as the descendants of Hallstatt and proto-Celtic cultures serves as the basis of what would become the worship of this god. He was understood to be a formidable and frightening god, brandishing a thunderbolt and a chariot wheel. Several images depict Taranis holding his wheel as it expresses the connection to the ever-turning nature of the seasons and time. Taranis's wheel, held in his hands, was thought to act as a sun disk, which shows Taranis as a solar deity. Even though he is primarily correlated with storms and thunder, his connection with the wheel, which was a symbol of the cyclical nature of life and death, this association to his wheel is more representative of his power rather than a functional piece of equipment. These images also depict him holding a powerful lightning bolt representing his control over the natural elements in connection with his fearsome might. His lightning, however, also could be illustrated as a weapon, wielded to smite those who directly oppose it. Deeply connected to the elements of the sky, the worship of Taranis demonstrated the raw power of nature. Taranis was seen as a charioting god and was ultimately connected to horses and the power of war chariots, showing his martial prowess. His followers continuously prayed for his blessings to shield them from events such as natural disasters, thunderstorms, floods, and lightning strikes. The Celts inscribed the symbol of the wheel on their weapons and shields as it was believed to shepherd good fortune and victory in battle. According to the author Miranda Old House Green, in her book, The Gods of the Celts, Taranis is frequently linked to the oak tree, as often seen as a feature of Celtic mythology. Taranis's name in many Celtic languages means the Thunderer, and is described as the Celtic wheel god in Britain seen in relation to Gaulish evidence. His worship included offerings of animal sacrifices in efforts to receive his powers of nature and protection of his worshippers. This depiction of Taranis has influenced his representation of Celtic beliefs and mythologies, leading to the understanding of worship broadly across Celtic lands. 4. First son of Odin, All Father of the Aesir, God of Norse and Germanic mythology. A central individual of these mythologies, the strongest and most powerful of all the Norse gods, like Taranis. Thor is also a meteorological sky god ruling over the clouds. Thor is also considered a nature god, and aside from his connection to weather, he is also associated with the sacred oak, as Norse and Germanic cultures are. In Old Norse languages, Thor's name means thunder, and he was also a characterized as a skilled charioteer. Thor drove his chariot across the sky, pulled by his famous goats called Tooth Nasher and Tooth Gritter. Unlike Taranis, Thor did not control weather directly, but used tools that afforded him the ability to create unique meteorological events with each item. Thor is depicted as a large, muscular, and courageous god known for his unfettered violence. Thor is well known for his association with weather phenomena like storms, lightning, thunder, and darkness. This association influenced the English phrase thunderstruck. According to Norse mythological tales from the text The Prose Edda, Thor wields his mighty hammer known only as Mjolnir which he used to protect Asgard, or the world of the gods, against all enemies. These likenesses also invoke fear in the enemies of Norse and Germanic peoples in and out of battle. Thor's most well-known asset is his powerful hammer Mjolnir meaning lightning, a divine instrument crafted to defeat the mythical frost giants of the north and all enemies of the gods. This hammer could only be picked up by Thor himself due to its incredible weight. This magical hammer could also be thrown like a boomerang which always returned to Thor. Another tool possessed by Thor was his mighty magical belt which doubled his strength. Thor's items differ from Taranis's items due to the fact that they are more functional than symbolic. For example, Thor's chariot is used to travel vast distances whereas Trainus's wheel is simply symbolic. Thor uses his mighty hammer to strike lightning and create thunder signifying that his hammer is an extension of himself. However, Taranis wields lightning directly which signifies his control over weather rather than the use of magical items. 
Taranis and four both ride a chariot, which can be potentially demonstrative that the cultures of these two gods, which are relatively and geographically similar, could be related, or that one may have influenced the other. Additionally, this can also be evidenced by both cultures viewing the oak tree as sacred and representative of nature itself. Both of these gods' use of chariots symbolizes their ingrained warlike cultures. Furthermore, each of their respective cultures pray to these gods for strength and victory in battles. Worshippers of Thor focused on honoring his cosmic strength, valor, and protection by offering food and drink. In contrast, Taranis' worshippers focused on praying for protection from the elements by offering animal sacrifices. Thor is seen as a malevolent to his followers, and a fierce vengeful god to his enemies. Taranis is viewed as a darker god which can cause natural disasters without provocation. Overall, the similarities and differences of these two gods comparatively display the interconnectedness of ancient Central European Iron Age era cultures. Although these gods have their unique differences, it is highly possible that these gods and cultures have more similarities than differences. The next time the thunder rolls, think of the wheels of chariots in the sky. That is all for now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.